RV254 Search 10 study is a successful collaboration between the U.S. Military HIV Research Program and the Thai Red Cross AIDS Research Center. We work together from the inception of the study to the conduct of the study and now the analysis and reporting of the data. First of all, this is a study that we screen people in real time for acute HIV infection. We enroll people very fast uh, from the time the client walks into our clinic to confirmation to enrollment is only three days. We then consent them to the main protocol and also we have optional procedures that have been very well received by our volunteers. We also offer treatment as part of another protocol that we randomize people to three drugs versus five drugs. And the time from when we enroll people to performing the procedures to starting treatment is only two days. This study, SEARCH 010, is particularly important because what it allows us to do is to look at events that are happening at the very beginning of infection, earlier than any other previous studies. And so what that allows us to do is to say, what's happening at the various different places in the body? What is the virus doing? What are the cells and the immune system doing? So that we can hopefully identify ways that we can intervene. Number one, we can possibly identify ways that we can exploit the knowledge that we gain from the study to make better vaccines, because ultimately that's going to be the best hope for prevention. The second thing that we can do is we can understand what are those key steps in the series of events that happens from infection until, unfortunately, ultimately death in the untreated HIV-infected patient. What are those steps and how can we intervene so that the disease is less severe or possibly we can even effect a functional cure? We wanted to see what happened after early treatment in terms of HIV reservoir size. And here we look at the total HIV DNA in one million cells in the peripheral blood. And we compared our patients, the SEARCH-10 RV254 volunteers, to two groups of people. One are the elite controllers. These are people who naturally can control virus without ever being on ART. And another group are people who have been on treatment for five years but started treatment late during chronic infection. And you can see here that after one year of treatment, our patients have similar reservoir size as elite controllers. In the context of the SEARCH-010 um, or RV254 study, um, we are particularly interested in the um, immune response and the development of, of the cell populations within the mucosa of the RV254 participants. We are thinking that this is very interesting because um, the first entry portal of HIV uh, when a human is getting infected is the mucosa. So we try to understand um, what is happening in acute infection in the mucosa to um, get a better idea how we can, you know, prevent infection in terms of a vaccine or even to kind of, you know, make um, antiretroviral treatments um, better. Why is AFRAM's Department of Retrovirology interested in an acute infection study? And the reasons really are that we are a vaccine-focused organization. So we're an Army organization, and the Army has a program that has said to us, we need you to develop a globally effective HIV vaccine to protect the warfighters, our, our troops, and to protect other people in the world. So with that as our mission, we are looking for ways to not only develop products way at the far end of the development spectrum. We're also looking for ways to understand the science behind HIV infection so that we can identify new opportunities to stop those infections. We've been fortunate to work with experts at the MHRP and also many collaborators around the world. And we've successfully published uh, papers on the effect of early treatment on the reservoir size and immune preservation, as well as to document what happens in acute infection in the central nervous system, as well as propose a new staging for acute HIV infection. And we have many more publications coming in the next few years. So if we look at the steps to HIV cure, we can say that the first important step is to diagnose people early. 
The second step is to institute immediate treatment to limit infection of the latently infected cells. And then we could give additional interventions such as therapeutic HIV vaccine or neutralizing antibody. And then we hope that our patients will achieve functional cure, which is being able to control virus without lifelong antiretroviral treatment. อย่างอื่นในอนาคตนี้ผมคิดว่าผมจะเข้าร่วมแน่นอนครับสิ่งหนึ่งที่ทำให้เรารู้สึกว่าตัวเองยังมีค่าอยู่ก็คือการได้ม